all right guys josh here with planet chinchilla thanks for coming back to the channel here uh today i wanted to actually cover this topic right here which is fleece liners uh for your little guys <coughs> um the biggest concern it seems like people have whenever they visit the blog or leave any comments in any of the social media groups is the safety concerns of these fleece liners um biggest thing i can tell you guys is these are 100% safe, <clears throat> just as safe as any other bedding that you're going to use. And I was already cleaning the cage today, so I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video. Obviously, I still got a little bit of work to do um, <clears throat> with my cleaning duties. But here's the thing with these. There's, there's about eight huge advantages to using the fleece liners as opposed to using a uh, typical like aspen shavings instead and i have used both so the number one um, top thing that i can tell you guys on why these are so beneficial compared to the aspen shavings is just the mere fact of how easy these can be removed let me pull this up so these right here these are just the trays that come with the critter nation cage right underneath here these ones here were just washed about two days ago, so all I need to do is vacuum up a bit. But they just pop right over. Um, depending on if you plan on potty training your chinchilla, you will need to wash these a couple times a week. But it, it's super easy. You just throw them in cold water to avoid any of, you know, shrinking or any issues with it, and you're good to go. Um, you don't want to use, like, any powerful detergents if you do opt to get these, but... I mean, the nicest thing is, is ultimately they're going to save you money in the long run. You're, you're not going to buy the Aspen shavings anymore. I still need to clean the bottom deck here for her, and she's probably popping her head out of her little hiding box down there and say hi. But no more buying the Aspen shavings once you do this, so it's a one-time cost if you keep them clean. I personally have a couple sets of these in the same color, just in case, you know, if you're in a time crunch or if a little bit of wear and tear, you're going to want to have the ability to swap out easily so instead of paying you know whatever it is per month for the aspen shavings i don't even remember i'm guessing you know 10 bucks a month or so you're just going to buy a set of these then you are set to go um <clears throat> number two is i mean the poop i use just right here guys just a a brush and a dustpan it's that easy um you just sweep it up that's for the poop, obviously for the pee, you're not gonna sweep that up. You're gonna have to physically give it a clean, but overall, just super easy to maintain. And as far as the chewing goes, which is one of the big concerns, she doesn't chew this at all. I haven't had a problem with it. I'm not saying that your chinchilla would not chew it. Uh, it's completely possible that they would, um, but just keep an eye on it. But I've had these for several months and I've never had a single problem with chewing on these fleece liners. Um, you know, number four biggest benefit of them is just the smell compared to that bedding sitting down on the bottom. Obviously, my cage doesn't even support the ability to have that bedding down here. It doesn't have that pull-out tray set up, as you can see. But just not having to worry about changing that or the smell of that bedding when it gets soaked in the urine, I think, is a huge advantage. Um, and then, obviously, you can they make different colors. You don't have to go with this red pink white and gray that i'm using they have you know baby blue teal and other options depending on what you're looking for um and then the other nice thing is th these things are custom fit if you buy this cage so this is a critter nation cage um, i will put a link in the description below for you but these are all custom fit i didn't have to make these i don't know how to sew i honestly don't want to know how to sew um, or you know put these together I would rather just pay for them be done with it but I just slide them right over once you wash them like I said they just go right back on there no big deal at all and not to mention I mean they just look better than having that bedding sitting down there when these things are clean fresh out of the washer and the cage is all clean which obviously I have some work to do like I said it's not a hundred percent clean at the moment I mean, once it's done, I mean, it looks good. It's appealing. It doesn't look like a typical rodent's cage. I mean, the cages look nice. The fleece gives it a, the fleece gives it a little bit of a, you know, dress up compared to using that bedding. And, I mean, your chinchilla is just going to like it better than that bedding. Because typically, 
what you're going to see with any kind of bedding is it's usually under something like this, like a wire bottom cage, which it, don't get me wrong, if you have a wire bottom cage, don't go throw it away today. Um, but those are harder on the little guy's feet. Um, as you can see, they have really small feet here. Let's see if I can get her to come out so you can see her. She might not want to, she's a little camera shy, but um, this fleece is comfortable. I mean, she seems to love it. She jumps on it all the time. I need to replace her little chew sticks here with some new ones. She goes through those about every day, it feels like. But overall, guys, these are, these are the piggy bedspread liners. Again, that's piggy bedspread liners. So in my blog post, if you just Google is fleece safe for chinchillas, depending if you're watching this video right now on YouTube or from my blog, I'll pop up, I think like number one on page one for that term. Um, all of the information about these liners and other options are in that post, as well as this cage that I use. If you need a smaller set, some people only have this cage right here without the top deck and they do make just the one piece two piece set up with the ramps which the ramps i'm cleaning so they're sitting up here on top but you can get those for a lot cheaper like 30 bucks i think for a set the full sets i think are closer to 50 or 60 if i remember correctly again i will put that link in the description below so that you can easily get to it outside of that guys i mean if you're on the fence about it they're safe they're not going to hurt your your little chinchilla here they'll be just fine i've had these for months on months i've had her for gosh uh, maybe 20 months now or so and these fleece liners i switched out um roughly three or four months into it so i've had these forever i like i said i rotate two sets so that probably saved the time for me a little bit or kept these guys fresh but they're an awesome upgrade to the cage having a big cage is obviously an upgrade too but if you're on the fence about it easy to clean looks better your chinchilla likes it more um safe good to go save you money in the long run outside of that i, I think i kind of wrapped it up for you go get yourself some of these fleece liners they are awesome link will be below and don't forget um if you guys have other questions make sure to always post a comment let me know if you guys like these videos if you want other specific videos on questions you have I'd be happy to answer them. Make sure to smash that uh, subscribe button, like button, and that little bell so that you get notified the next time I get a video and it'll come right out to you. Um, and again, these are in that blog post that's is fleece, do f chinchillas like fleece, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, guys, give it a shot. I think you'll be impressed with it overall. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by.